Guys, it's one king. I do appreciate y'all more. Y'all know, thank y'all for stopping back by for another video, guys. Please leave a like. Please subscribe. Please cut y'all notification bell on if y'all haven't, guys. YouTube shadow banning me, but hey, it ain't going to stop me. I'm still going to keep on making the videos. It don't matter. Real quick, okay? I see us making money off XRP, guys, one of two ways, okay? So listen closely. Here's the thing. A lot of people are falling by the wayside right now as we speak. Obviously, this thing is being drug out as long as it possibly can, which further, along with other things, leads me to believe, guys, that this thing is a lot more valuable than we really think it is, okay? Now, the first way, the lawsuit concludes. We're going to see the value of XRP, like, fly like crazy, right? My humble opinion, guys, the same financial advice. Don't take my word for it. What do I know? I'm just working class. Man, guys, do your own research. Before y'all invest, I don't know what I'm talking about, all right? But we're going to see the value go two to three digits, okay? And I'm being, this is a hypothetical, two to three digits. I'm being very conservative. I could see $25 to $50 XRP after this lawsuit wraps up, guys. But all the people that's been uh, buying, all the people that's holding, right? Because you got a lot of folks selling and getting fatigued, but you also have a very, very, uh, good amount of folks that are holding on and that are not letting go of this asset no matter what, right? So how are they going to get us to get out of the asset or price us out? Lawsuit will conclude the price jumps $25, $50. A lot of folks have said they're not selling. Guys, listen, when you went this long holding this asset, accumulating this asset, you will sell some of it, okay? And here's the kicker. You will sell some of it and a lot of folks like to say, well, I'm still going to hold 50% uh, of my bag or 60% of my bag or this percent of my bag or whatever. It's not going to happen that way because what's going to happen is you're going to sell some, think everything's sweet. The value going to continue to move up. The value is going to continue to go back down and start dwindling from all the sell pressure that's going to be going on. Okay. All the sell pressure that's going to be going on, the value is going to start to creep back down. When people start seeing the value creeping back down, I'm talking about going from $50. Like I said, this is a hypothetical. Don't take my word for it. When they, people see the value going from $50 back down to $20, back down to $15, back down to $10 and $5 possibly, right? Nobody in their right mind is going to be trying to be like, oh, yeah, I'm still going to hold. I'm still going to hold. I'm still going to do this and do that, guys, especially with the state of the economy. Things still being high. Inflation still running rampant, right? People ain't going to be thinking about that, right? People are going to be thinking about how they can pay their bills, how they can go and how they can sustain their lifestyle. That's what people are going to be thinking about especially when that value is creeping back down. Nobody's going to be trying to hold on to it because they're going to be thinking of all the time that was spent getting to this point, right? Getting to the $50 or getting to $25 or $30 or whatever. They're going to think of all the time they spent, right? Building that bag and getting to that point to where they're going to be like, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to let go of another 30% of this bag. Let go of another 30% of the bag, the price start going down further, right? You know what? Until you ain't got nothing. People are gonna be like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and let go of the XRP. It's probably not, it's probably not gonna go past fifty dollars again ever. That's what people are gonna think because they're gonna think after the lawsuit concludes that that's it. Okay, they're gonna think everything's set in stone. And you gotta understand the value's gonna increase with XRP whether Ripple gets uh, um, whether R Ripple gets a, a security verdict or a non-security verdict or a currency verdict, whatever, whichever way you go. The, the the value is going to increase anyway, okay? We know most of the market is overseas. Most of the Ripple's market is overseas, 90%, if I, if I believe, right? So either way it goes, it ain't going to matter. They're already doing business. They already built partnerships. They still going to keep They still gonna keep on going. So that's the first way. People are going to sell, thinking that the, uh, the people are going to sell a percentage of their bag, and they're going to think that the value is going to continue to increase, right? But no, it's going to start going the other way after this lawsuit. People will end up. Um, forfeiting most of their bag, okay? That's the first way that people are going to get priced out of the asset. And then you might potentially have Ripple uh, along with other big whales, right, that are heavily invested in the digital asset that are going to come in on the secondary market and buy it all up, right? People are going to see it going down, the value going down, 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 right? Selling their bags out. Ripple, Big whales, big players come in, swoop it up off the secondary market. And you ain't getting back in. 
or you're gonna have to pay a hefty premium. But I don't even think you're gonna even be able to get back in. They might even have them all wraps out here. But that's the first way, right? The second way, confiscation. Okay. Same thing they did with gold back in 1933 when you couldn't hoard gold, okay? They might be doing the same deal with XRP. If you hoard an XRP or if you own so much XRP, you're going to you're gonna have to confiscate. They're going to have to confiscate it, right? So they're going to give you a value. They're going to give you some value and say, give us your XRP and we're going to give you this much money for it, right? Most people ain't going to like the idea of that. I know I don't, right? But you might not be able to own none of it. They might just say, give us all your XRP for this value here, okay? And sign some bill, right? Some executive order to where you ain't got no say-so in it. You got to get this XRP up. You see what I'm saying? But like I said, I don't own no XRP, so it don't even matter to me. I'm that one rare case. It don't matter. I don't own any. But I'm saying for the people that own, that own XRP, right? You see what I'm saying? So... Or they might let you only hold a certain amount. So basically, hypothetically speaking, um, every one person can only own a thousand XRP, for instance, or you can only own five hundred XRP. Let's just say five hundred XRP. Every single person or entity can only own five hundred XRP. The rest of your XRP, you have to give it up for X amount of dollars. So let's just say hypothetically, they say twenty five dollars per XRP. Boom! You got to sell the rest of your XRP. They ain't even gotta say, uh, they ain't even gotta say 500. They can just say you don't own any. You can't own no no XRP. Boom. Let's just say they say you gotta sell it all, okay? For uh, uh just for a better example. Let's just say they, they say $25 a piece, you gotta sell all your XRP. And they sign this order, this executive order to where you gotta give that XRP up, right? And then boom, as soon as you sell it to them for $25 a pop, then they reevaluate it to its real true value. You see what I'm saying? That's the second thing. They reevaluate it to where it's really to where it's real true value is. You just sold it for $25. Now they have the real true value of XRP sitting at 10,000 bucks per coin. It ain't nothing you could do about it. You see what I'm saying? Um they did the same thing with gold. 1933, they signed an executive order saying that you couldn't hoard gold if you had more than $100 worth of gold or something like that. Some number, I don't even remember if it's $100 or not. But if you have more than $100 worth of gold, you got to give that up. You got to get the rest of that up, okay? And they was going to come through and confiscate. So that's what I see going on with XRP. No matter what people say or everybody thinks, I'm going to sell 10%, myself as well, right? I'm going to sell 10% and I'm going to hold on to 90% or I'm going to sell 50% at this price point and then I'm going to go and I'm going to hold this other 50% until this price point, then I'm going to sell 20% of that, then, you know, and such and so forth. That ain't how this going to go, okay? Y'all see what's going on in real time with this digital asset. They're doing everything they can to pry it from your hands. They're doing every single thing they can think of to pry it from our hands, guys. And I'm telling you, when it's all said and done, whatever they want to happen, it will happen, okay? Some people probably just won't make nothing off of it. But it is what it is, guys. That's what I'm thinking, okay? That's what I got for y'all. What do y'all think? Leave a comment. Let me know what y'all thoughts are, okay? okay? I do appreciate y'all more than y'all know, guys. Y'all take care of yourselves. Take care of y'all family. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video.